In this video we're going to see how to slightly improve the efficiency of SAS data steps by getting rid of variables or keeping variables that we only the variables we want. Um, so if we have a huge data set with lots of variables we might actually only be interested in creating a new data set with a subset of the previous ones. So we do that using um, the drop and or keep statement and these two statements are basically the same as we shall now see. So um, I'm going to create a new data set from my MMM data set which, which we've seen in previous videos and um, I'm going to calculate the BMI but in my new data set I no longer want to see the weight or the height. Okay, So data MAT008 and I'm going to call, uh, sorry I'm going to put this in my work library uh, I don't need to keep this, so MMM with BMI but no height or weight okay so this is the name of my new data set let me just put a underscore there, it looks a bit nicer my, my new data set and now I put brackets and brackets after a data set basically that we're going to have some options and I use uh, the, the keyword drop and so I'm going to drop the weight in kg and then a space and the next variable I'm going to drop is the height in meters let me just make sure we can see everything here and a semicolon. And now the data set I'm uh, the old data set, so the data set I'm setting, MAT008.mmm, semicolon, and the BMI equals the weight in kg divided by the height in meters oops, squared. And then if I run that code, what's going to happen is I'm going to create a new data set, MMI with BMI, no height weight with this new variable, BMI just calculated from there, ooh, just notice I forgot a space um, it's a, an underscore, sorry And but I will not have weight in kilograms and height in meters so I've run that, the log looks fine go to my library, I've put this in my work library so MMM with BMI, no height weight open that up we don't have height or weight, but we do have BMI. Okay, now another way to do this, so if I close that down, um, data MMM with BMI, no height weight, set mat008.mmm and I can put the options here but I have to be careful because if I write drop equals weight in kg and height in meters and now I try and run uh, sorry, I try and calculate the BMI so BMI equals weight in kg divided by height in meters squared, and if I run that, what we'll see happens is the BMI won't actually calculate because I've already dropped the weight in kg, oh, I forgot that underscore again, and the height in meters from the data set. So this won't give us the required result. If I run that, calculate that, open this up, we see that it says, ah, there's actually three variables that are missing. Because it, it re-puts in weight in kg and height in meters, and it calculates BMI, and they're all missing variables because um, for this particular data set, MAT008.MMM no longer has them. We could put other variables in there. There's no reason. So, like, I, if I um, copy this above code here, sorry, no, if I if I just get rid of this, and I say actually I want to drop the variable sex. If I close that, there's nothing wrong with that. but obviously we still have the height in meters and the BMI, we just no longer have sex. So where you use the drop statement, either on the, the new data set or on the old data set, is important. If you're creating variables from the old data set, make sure you drop them after the, or the new variable is created. So we can do all this also with a keep statement, and it really is just a case of which, which, um, which operation makes you uh, write less code. So if I call a new data set just BMI, so say I needed to uh, anonymize um, 
my data I could keep BMI so that implies drop everything else set MAT 008 MMM and BMI equals weight in kg divided by height in meters squared and if I run that let me just close this just in case. Remember, always close data sets um, when you're viewing them in browser mode. It's, it's quite broad practice to use them in browser mode. Run that. Open up my just BMI data set. We see that we just have the BMI. So I could then use, um, say, a uh, frequency um, procedure or a means procedure to just get some information about the BMI. And uh, if I didn't want to know anything about the, the names of the people or, or their sex or, or things like that. Um, so that's the drop and the keep statement. Nice little statements to, to use and just be careful where you use them. A very important thing to remember is you can't use two of them, both of them, sorry, you can't use drop and keep in the same data ste step. You have to either use keep or 